Hi, welcome to Prof. En Casa. I'm Johnny, your English teacher. Speaking English is very important nowadays. In fact, it is one of the most spoken languages in the whole world. When you speak English, you break barriers and you communicate with people in other countries. That's why today we are going to learn about how to identify yourself to others and we're going to focus on 10 aspects of personal information. All right, what comes to your mind when you hear the word identification? I know, the first word is name. The name is very important to identify yourself to others. In my case, my name is Johnny and my last name is Montoya. So my full name is Johnny Montoya. Mm, is there any other word that comes to your mind when you hear identification? Well, address is another word. An example will be, I live in Cartago. So far we have the name, the address, and the phone number. My phone number is 22553525. Of course, this is a fake phone number. One more piece of information is the ID number. My ID number is 12345678. Then, another important aspect is the nationality. I am Costa Rican because I am from Costa Rica. When we introduce ourselves to another person, they want to know our civil status. In my case, I am married. Probably you are single. Another aspect you provide when you introduce yourself is your age. For example, I am 40 years old, and my friend, this is fake too. To continue with the personal information, we have to include the occupation. As you know, I am a teacher, an English teacher, and you are a student. Another important aspect is your birthday, when you can give and receive gifts. My birthday is January 15th. The last information is preferences. In my case, I love computers. These, my friends, are 10 aspects to identify oneself to others. There is a question for each aspect. What's the proper question to ask for the name? Well, the right question is, what's your name? And what would be the correct question for the address? Well, where do you live is the right question. And for the phone number, what's your phone number? What's the question to find out the ID number? What's your ID number? And for nationality, what's the correct question? Where are you from? What about the age? What is the correct question? How old are you? And for the civil status, are you single or married? For the occupation, what's the correct question? What do you do? And for your birthday, what is the correct question? When is your birthday? And finally, to find out preferences, what is the correct question? What do you like to do? Let's see this example of students who belong to a special program of men. They are chatting and exchanging personal information. Hi, my name is Nicole. I live in Chicago. What's your name? Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Pamela. Nice, Pamela, where are you from? I am from Costa Rica. I'm Costa Rican. And where do you live? I live in Alajuela. How old are you? I'm 15 years old. And you? I'm 16 years old. What do you do? I am a student at SFC Chicago. What do you like to do in your free time, Nicole? I love traveling. I'm planning to visit Costa Rica next year. Great, give me a call when you're here. My phone number is 22553525. Sure, thanks. Okay, see you soon. Take care, bye. Okay, guys. Remember this basic information is necessary to identify yourself and to get to know new people. If you want to know how you can apply this knowledge to other situations, join me in our next video using personal information. 
This is all for today. I hope you have learned a lot. For more information and practice, you can visit our website in the section of Educatico. This is your English teacher. See you soon.